God bless each one of you. Today, I'm going to share my testimony with each one of you and how God delivered me from suicide and also finding my purpose. And brothers and sisters, um, I know God's going to speak to a lot of lives in this video. And this might also help you convert to Christ or those who are already serving Christ. How God still works today. Amen. And so a while back, probably one, two years ago, it started how um, we left church because of some reasons inside of church. Um, we were also, so we left Christ, what, like, in 2018, and we were trying to see how life will go, you know. We were just, we, we forgot about God quick. We were living a pretty good life. But out of nowhere, you know, I felt real depressed. Um, then I really feel like I had any meaning living anymore. Um, I felt like then I have a purpose. So one day I asked my mom, let me start doing YouTube. And no, it's not this channel. Um, I did many channels actually in the past because I forgot how to do a password. Um, I first started with the channel named Low Bunny Seven Seven Seven, and since I forgot to do the password, that channel, that account, kind of got destroyed. But what I used to do there was vlogs, where we. I was trying to discover what was my purpose in life, and since I was young, I always wanted to record it, but I knew there was a bigger purpose in life. And when we found Christ, it was going good, but there was things that were happening. You know, in the churches and in the home and all that. So we just left Christ. While we were living this life, we used to listen to a lot of non-Christian music that would keep us, well, me, I know, awake for a very long time. Um, I would wake up at like 7 o'clock and sleep all the way to 5 in the morning. Um, at night time, I would listen to secular music. Sometimes with my friends, we would watch music videos at late at night. Um, and most of them brought, you know, bad things to the homes. And I think those are most one of the most bigger reasons why a lot of demons were in our homes because of the music. But also how our attitude, how we treated each other. While we were at living a real good life, I don't know where I did not feel... Like, I had a purpose anymore. And this is why I was doing YouTube. After that account got destroyed, I did it again. I was working with Saul Nolan at the time. Nolan. Um, and, um, he's a friend, I know. And, um, well, we, we were, well, he already knew a lot about YouTube. Um, I was just learning about it a while back. Um, I was, it was really, like, a lot of weird stuff. Then, I, I don't know where I just felt like there was times in my room when I had the door closed. Um, there was these dots that used to come to just take my life. My attitude changes. I was always angry. Always sad. Depressed. Um, even though I was living a really good life now, um, I don't really feel like how I used to feel. One day... Um, we're watching this video that's like exposing the darkness and for a while I've been telling my mom to go back to church. Um, mind you, we still had the Bibles at home, but we never read them. I didn't even know we still had the Bibles. One day I see my Bible and I'm like, like if I discover it for the first time in forever. And, you know, I was on therapy for the suicidal dots and all that. And she gave me a number. One out of ten. And I said eight. I really didn't get what life was anymore. I think we were watching a video. How most of the bad things are like exposed. And then one day my mom just says. Let's go back to church and start serving the Lord again. And I was like okay. I said yes, I just said okay. You know, I was really up to anything to do anything. Didn't mind. Um, I didn't know what I was getting myself into though again. 
But um, I now more understand of Christ now than before. But um, while, you know, we were just listening to a lot of preachings, testimonies, stuff like that. This was a while back. I can't even tell you when, but this is probably in 2019, 2020, one two. And um, it's been like a couple of years now. But um, we were listening to a preaching about heaven and hell. And my mom used to smoke all the time. Right there in an the instant, she just stopped. And I looked at her, I'm like, wow, that's a change. And um, she's like, I'm giving, we're, we're giving our lives to Christ. And I said, yes. We accept Christ um, again as our Lord and Savior. And ever since that, it's been a way different life, you know. Um, no matter what tribulations we go through, we know that Christ is with us. And all the people who are suicidal. I just want to let you know how God has a purpose for each and one of you. How God got a future for all people who are worried for all the people who are sad and depressed, and also the people that are walking in the Lord and having many tribulations. Just remember to keep on doing what you're doing. Keep obedience with God. Keep being faithful. Put your trust in God. Keep your faith and your trust in God. And the Lord will deliver you from all your problems, from all your tribulations. Brothers and sisters, these hard times are to help us grow. And brothers and sisters, know that God is still working today. Please keep everybody in prayer, all the people around the world. Please keep me and my family in prayers, leave all the churches in prayers, and all people around the world, no matter who it is, okay? Because all have fallen short of the glory of God. And brothers and sisters, God can change anybody. And we're still seeing that every single day. And brothers and sisters, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Have trust in the Lord and keep seeking the Lord and you will well have victory. Brothers and sisters, just know that Christ is still working today. Please share this video with other people so that other people can know that God is still working today and all the glory goes to God. Brothers and sisters, God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.